You have been working on your unique or unusual animal paragraphs. <clears throat> this is the rubric that will be used to assess them. What you want to focus on is the meeting column. So if you see topics, well you can see topic sentence. So your first sentence in your paragraph must accurately preview what is coming. The second thing is your transition words, such as, for example, additionally. You want to meet the standard, so you want to use transitions to link the major ideas of the text and to identify the relationship between the topic and the examples or facts. Now this is getting a bit boring, so I'm going to read a joke. And it's going to be, why did the man take his clock to the vet? Answer, because it had uh, ticks, because it had ticks. And next joke, what is a tornado's favorite game to play? Twister. Now, back to business. So you want your topic sentence to be good. You'll have transitioning words. And all those little detail sentences, you want to make sure that they connect to the topic and develop the main idea. Finally, for your concluding sentence, you want to make sure that that accurately reviews what the paragraph was about. So, your topic sentence tells them what you're going to tell them and accurately previews what is coming. Then you have your detailed sentences with your transitions, and the transitions should make sense. They should be logical. Finally, you want to accurately review what the paragraph was about at the very end for your concluding sentence. And here is our concluding joke. Actually, it would be our concluding jokes. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. Why was six afraid of seven? Well, it's because seven, eight, nine. And in case you're still listening, why are there fences around cemeteries? Because people are dying to get in. <laughs>